know that wind projects can be good neighbors. At the foot of the hillside in back of their home, developers Ashley and Travis Belisle announced they filed a formal application to build Swanton Wind. It's a nearly $40 million project that calls for construction of up to seven turbines here, each about 500 feet tall. They say it generate enough wind to power 7,300 Vermont households. They know it'll be controversial, but unlike the other commercial projects in the state, so there's going to be much less need to do things like blasting on this site. Um, we've avoided entirely wetlands, uh, and so there's no wetland permitting that will need to occur for this. The developer's own sound study suggests the turbines would fall under allowable limits. We're, we're just completely dismayed by it. Um, I, I, don't, I, I don't even have words to say. But news the Belisles have gone forward with the application angers some of the neighbors. Even after hearing they're offering to buy out any homeowner within 3,000 feet of a turbine at whatever their homes are worth after construction. My first thought is he's admitting there's going to be a problem and that people are not going to be able to live in their homes. I would see it very, very clearly. But Franklin County political leaders say the deck is stacked when projects like this get before the Public Service Board. Despite that advisory vote last November, when Swanton rejected the Swanton Wind Project by a four to one margin. I think it shows the amount of money that is behind these projects and the profits that are going to be made by developers. Is this just driven by money? Not at all. It's the, uh, it's the passion for doing something for your, for your town, your, your state, your, your world. I mean, it's, uh, it's one of those things that uh, climate change is real. The Belisles say they have already put up a lot of their own savings to get this far and will absolutely need financial partners to proceed. Now, the Public Service Board in Montpelier is going to schedule now a range of public and technical hearings in the months ahead. Developers are hoping for a favorable decision sometime next year. We're live in Swanton tonight. Stuart Ludbetter, NBC5 News.